and bring our very own apostle, C.A. Callum. Give him a praise the Lord. Saints. 
Now I got the Bible to prove that if you go with me over to First Peter. First Peter. Uh-huh. Let's see, Second Peter. Amen. You want my father tonight? Second Peter chapter three. Uh, there's a lot of folk who have uh, talk about heaven and they see heaven as a permanent location. But in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 10 it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief, you know what I mean? And the night and the witch, the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with the what? Fervent heat. Y'all read with me? Uh, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be what? Burned up. Say then that all these things shall be dissolved. What matter of persons are you to be in holy conversation and godliness? Looking for her and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being what? The heavens being on fire, amen, shall dissolve, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. And he talk about heaven being on fire, they being dissolved. You are with me? Now, I hear folks say, when I get to heaven, I'm going to sit down, and when you sit there too long, you may be in trouble. Amen. And verse number 13 said, Nevertheless, we are according to his promise. Look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth what? Righteousness. Now, can I tell you something? The place that many people have mistaken for heaven is really not heaven. The Bible never tells you that in heaven the streets are paved with gold or made of gold. The Bible never tells you that heaven has 12 gates to the city. That was not heaven. Heaven has been misunderstood for another place. And if you go with me quickly to the book of Revelation, you're going to follow me a little bit? Go with me quickly to the book of Revelation. I'll prove everything I'm saying. Go with me quickly to the book of Revelation, chapter 21. And it says, And I saw a new what? Heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was what? And there was no more what? Now watch verse number two. And I, John, saw the holy city. You all with me? New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride for her husband. Now first of all, John said, I saw the new Jerusalem coming down from God where? Out of heaven. So the new Jerusalem in heaven is not the same place because John said he saw the new Jerusalem coming out of heaven. You with me? Uh, in verse 3, And I heard a great noise out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and, he, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. You don't follow me. And I said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst. Of the fountain of waters of life freely. He that overcomes shall I shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But the fearful, the women and the unbelieving, and the abominable, and the murderers, homemongers, sorcerers, and adulterers, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Uh, and there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vows full of seven last plagues and talked with me said, Come here and I will show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. Look at this, verse 10. And he carried me in the spirit, hallelujah, to a great and high 